good morning grade 5 welcome back to grade 5 class how are you all doing today so in the previous class we saw a few exercise from the chapter jewels of the ocean so we will see the rest of the exercise today so all of you please turn to page number 46 and the first question here is the grammar part and this is about adverbs let me read out the question to you read these sentences using the adverbs given in the brackets in the correct places so before moving on to the answers let's revise what adverbs are and what are the types so what is an adverb we have already learned in our english reader that adverbs are words that tell us more about the verbs or the action and there are different types of adverbs there are adverbs of place adverbs of manner adverbs of time adverbs of degree and adverbs of frequency so what are adverbs of place adverbs of place tell us where the verb or where the action is taking place so an adverb of place answers the question where where the action is taking place and adverbs of manner tell us the manner in which the action is done and it answers the question how how the action or how the verb is done now the adverbs of time adverbs of time tell us the time at which the action is happening so it answers the question when and adverbs of degree tell us to what degree or to what extent the verb or action is happening so it answers the question to what degree now adverbs of frequency these kind of adverbs tell us how often someone does something or how long something lasts now we have already learned all these in our english reader so let's move on to the question so the first sentence here is the shops in the village open early and there is a verb given in the bracket usually you have to use the word use the adverb usually in the correct place in this sentence in the given sentence and rewrite it the first sentence can be rewritten as the shops in the village usually open early similarly you have to rewrite the rest of the sentences from the question as an activity now please pause this video finish rewriting the sentences and come back hope you are done with that activity now let's see the correct answers the first one we have already discussed in the class the shops in the village usually open early the second question the school bus comes on time and the adverb given there is always which is an adverb of frequency now the uh, sentence can be rewritten as the school bus always comes on time now the next one i have finished my work almost is the adverb given in bracket so it can be rewritten as i have almost finished my work now let's see the fourth question shobha misses her dance classes and the adverb given is never so it can be rewritten as shobha never misses her dance classes now the fifth one he comes over to my house to study and the verb given the adverb given there is sometimes so the sentence can be rewritten as sometimes he comes over to my house to study see here the adverb sometimes which is an adverb of frequency is given in the beginning of the sentence so you can call that as an introductory adverb and you always follow an introductory adverb with a comma so sometimes comma he comes over to my house to study now the next one it was raining when hari left the office and the adverb given there is still so it can be rewritten as it was still raining when hari left the office now let's see the next section section b underline the adverbs in these sentences and identify their types manner place time degree and frequency let's see the answers the first sentence i will see you later in my office so which is the adverb here the word later is the adverb here and it is the adverb of time now the second one have you seen my library book anywhere so which is the adverb here anywhere so that is an adverb of place now the third one i regularly go for a walk in the morning so the the word regularly is an adverb of frequency 
so you can underline that one and write f for frequency in the space provided now the fourth one i went upstairs to bed see the word upstairs that is an adverb which shows the place so it's an adverb of place so you can underline the word upstairs and write p for place there fifth one the weavers wove the garment skillfully so it shows the manner the word skillfully shows the manner so underline the word skillfully it is an adverb of manner so you have to write m in the space given there now the sixth one she rarely gets up early on a sunday so it shows the time early on a sunday shows the time so that is an adverb of time so you can underline the word early there now the seventh one rita sang sweetly so it shows how she sang so the word sweetly is an adverb of manner so underline the word sweetly and you have to write m there now the eighth one i often go to chennai the word the adverb often shows the frequency so underline the word often and write f there for frequency and let's move on to the next section it is the listening exercise here listen to some clues about the movement of different animals and identify their names so here i'm going to read out some clues to you which represent the movement of different animals and from the clues you have to identify which animal it is and write it in the space provided there we can write the answers along as i read the clues so the first one is i slip and slide and slither i love old overgrown gardens can you think of the animal which does this give it a thinking and write the answer in the space given in the page let's see the second one i am old and slow i only crawl but once i want a race against a faster animal hope you got the answer let's move on to the third one i can trot canter and gallop who am i think of the animal and write the answer there the fourth one i am small but i can scurry off so fast that no one can catch me the scurry off means to move or to race quickly without being caught so the fifth one i swing from branch to branch and i love bananas hope you got the answer the sixth one i love to hop 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 So think of the animal which loves to hop and write the answer there. So I hope you have finished writing the answers. Now let's see which are the correct answers. The first one, I slip and slide and slither. I love old overgrown gardens. So what is the correct answer? It is snake. Now the next one, I am old and slow. I only crawl but once. I want a race against a faster animal. What is the answer? It is a tortoise. Now the third one. I can trot, canter, and gallop. Where am I? The answer is a horse. Now the fourth one. I am small, but I can scurry off so fast that no one can catch me. And the correct answer is a rat. Now fifth one. I swing from branch to branch, and I love bananas. What is the correct answer? It is monkey. Now sixth one. I love to hop, hop, hop. What is the answer? It is a frog so i hope you got all the answers correct now let's move on to the next section and it is a homework for you it is about punctuation let me read out the question to you rewrite this passage punctuating it correctly you have to read the passage carefully and identify in which all places you have to capitalize letters use full stop a comma or quotes or the needed so you do this as a homework you can rewrite the passage correctly after punctuating it in the space provided in the textbook itself then you can take a picture and send us through teams now let's move on to the next exercise it is the writing section and this is about writing a travel log let me read out the question to you imagine that you have recently visited shillong find information from the internet about the city and write a travel log describing your experience and you can include some hints some hints to help you are visit to the elephant falls and road bridge stay at the cleanest village eat local delicacies and homemade jams and squashes local sightseeing so 
You have already seen how to write a travelogue when you learn the chapter, a visit to the Kaziranga. So here you are asked to imagine that you have visited this place called Shillong and you can know more about Shillong by doing some research on the internet in the presence of your parents. Make notes and you have to include the given points here. So first you can write it roughly in your notebook and then you can write it fairly in the space provided here. So once you are done writing the travelogue to take a picture and send us to teams. So children we have come to the end of the chapter Jewels of the Ocean. So I hope the chapter and all the exercise we discussed in this chapter are clear to you. So that's all for today. We'll see you in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, bye.